What's up everyone? This is Matt with Polar Pro and today um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to process and edit a drone hyperlapse. Uh, we got a lot of requests from our hyperlapse video a few weeks back on how to get the footage edited, so uh, let's dive in and get started. First, we're going to edit all the images from the sequence um, in Lightroom here. I'm just going to give the first image in the sequence a light color pass here. All right, so once this first image is edited and looks the way I want it, I'm just going to copy that preset, select all the images in this sequence, and paste that preset onto all of them so they all have the same look. So now that I got all these images looking the same, I'm just going to export them to their own folder here on the desktop. Let's go to File, Export. And I'm just gonna rename that folder CC for color correction just so I know the difference between the original folder and the color corrected one. And this is my new folder here that is color corrected. So those all look good. Looks like all of them got corrected. Perfect. So now we are going to jump into After Effects. So this can be done in Premiere or DaVinci Final Cut. Uh, whatever you prefer. I prefer to use After Effects. Uh, it's all personal preference. Uh, even if you've never used After Effects, you should be able to do this no problem. It's really easy. So what we're gonna do is double click, double left click here in the project window. And that is how you're going to import your sequence. So I'll just navigate to where my image sequence is, which is on the desktop. See Mavic Air, Hyperlapse, CC. Let's open that folder, and I'm going to select the first image in that sequence. Make sure Importer JPEG Sequence is selected and Import as Footage. Um, if this is on something else, be sure to set it to Footage. Um, but it should already be on Footage when you first open the folder here. So all that's set, I'm going to hit Import. And now you can see that your image sequence got imported into After Effects and it is essentially one file now. After Effects automatically combine them into an image sequence or a video file. So you're just gonna click and drag that image sequence down to this little icon here and that's gonna pop open a new composition and that's the same size as your image sequence. So you can see here, this was the Mavic Air. It was 4056 by 2280. Um, so that composition is the same size. And I'm just gonna hit spacebar in my timeline here and the image sequence should start playing through. All right, so that's pretty cool. The sequence is playing back. It's playing back as a video now, which is great. Um, but as you can see, it's definitely a little bit wobbly and a little bit warped. So we're gonna have to stabilize this to get it looking nice and smooth. All right, so to do that, I'm just going to come over here to the Effects and Presets panel. Um, if you don't have this on your screen, let's go up to Window and be sure Effects and Presets is selected here. So if it's not checked, just check that. And in the little search bar, I'm just going to search for Warp Stabilizer. So once this guy pops up, the Warp Stabilizer VFX, you're just going to click and drag that effect down onto your clip here. And we'll leave all these settings as they are now. Um, now we just have to wait for it to analyze. Uh, this could take a long time depending on your machine um, and the resolution of this image sequence, so just be patient. Okay, so it looks like that Warp Stabilizer is finished analyzing here. Let's play this clip back again and see what it looks like. Nice, so it looks really smooth. Uh, the Warp Stabilizer, even on its Stock settings right out of the effect, didn't have to change anything. Uh, looks great. It's like everything is pretty stable. There's almost no motion anymore, which is awesome. So that's exactly what we were looking for this to do. All right, and that's all there is to it. Uh, this clip is now stabilized and ready to be exported. Um, one more step you could do would be to make a new composition drag this guy into that. I like to do that often. I'll make a smaller comp that's a lower resolution. Uh, for example, this guy's almost 4K, or actually a little bit above 4K. 
um, I would create a new comp at either 1080 or 2.7. Um, that way I could crop in on this composition here and kind of place it where I want it. Um, but for the sake of this, I'm just gonna export this guy as is. So in After Effects, it's a little bit different than Premiere. Um, you don't just go to File Export. You have to come up here to the panel and go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. So you're gonna get this little pop-up here in the timeline. It'll take the place of the timeline called Render Queue. Um, under Output Module, you're gonna click Lossless. Um, under Format, this is all preference. I like to go down to QuickTime. Um, audio, no audio on this guy. I'll turn audio off. Format options. I'm gonna export this as an uncompressed file. Um, that way I can either bring it into Media Encoder, um, compress it there, or bring it into Premiere, DaVinci, Final Cut, whatever I'm gonna be editing in, and then hit OK. Just have to set the output to, I'm just gonna send this to the desktop. Call it Mavic Air Hyperlapse CC um, Lossless. Hit save. Now you just come over here and hit render. So now After Effects is gonna render this guy out to the desktop as a uncompressed lossless MOV file. Okay, it looks like our clip is finished rendering. You can see it on the desktop here, so. Now I'm going to bring this guy into Media Encoder and export it as an H.264, just something that I can actually play back and see, because um, I can't play back this lossless clip the way it is. It's uncompressed, so I can't play it back unless I open with VLC or something. So I'm just going to export this guy as an H.264. So that Media Encoder open here. I'm just going to drag that exported clip into Media Encoder. Now I already have some presets set, H.264. This is all preference, wherever you're gonna be sending this video to, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, they all have different bit rates and settings. Um, so you gotta, gotta check what, um, what platform you're gonna be putting this on. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just do this at 30 megabits per second, uh, a two pass. Output name, call this Mavic Air Hyperlapse CC um, H264. So I know which one is which. And hit OK. And I'll just hit the play button here to render. Should be pretty quick. So now you can see this is our MP4 playing back. Loop this here. Looks pretty good. Quality is kind of low. We kept it at a lower bit rate just to render it quicker for this tutorial, but it looks really good and the uncompressed version should look really good in an edit. So that's it for this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of really cool videos lined up over the next few weeks, and we'll see you then.